I never got involved with their personal relationships. I can only say as a father that I hope and I instill with them uh, the values that they would want to look for in a man. Wait, Matthew Knowles thinks Jay-Z is drugging Beyonce? Okay, so I know this sounds like another crazy rumor about the Carters, but I did some digging, and girl, many people are saying the same thing. Allegedly, Jay has been controlling Beyonce since day one, and he got her hooked on drugs. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right Seven. now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. The internet is running wild yet again, saying that Jay-Z has influenced Beyonce to use drugs. And allegedly, it all started after she publicly exposed him for cheating on her. See, for her to talk about being a strong, independent woman, fans naturally assumed that Beyonce would dump Jay after the messy cheating scandal. But for some reason, and Beyonce stayed, and ever since then, her behavior has drastically changed, and all her songs are now about pleasing her man, getting high, and partying. And now that these rumors are flying around, people are saying maybe Jay-Z got Beyonce hooked on something to keep her under his control. These rumors have allegedly raised a lot of concerns among Beyonce's family members, especially her dad, Matthew, who never even liked Jay to begin with. Now, if you ask me, this is the case of the pot calling the kettle black because we all know Matthew is a control freak himself. I mean, do you guys remember Latavia Roberson compared Matthew to Michael Jackson's dad? But anyways, where did these rumors about Jay-Z drugging Beyonce even come from? And what exactly did Matthew say about Jay? Let's break this down because it's a hot stankin' mess. And so that's part of training of how you want to answer that question. Uh, you know, I could very easily now start talking about you know, earlier. Okay, to give some context first, Beyonce and her dad, Matthew, have had a very, very, a very messy and complicated relationship over the years. And a lot of the tension between them stems from Beyonce's relationship with Jay-Z. As you probably know, Matthew was the driving force behind Beyonce's pursuit of a singing career. When Beyonce was just eight years old, Matthew arranged for her to join a singing group, Girls Time, and he later resigned from his day job to fully manage the group. But Matthew was also very controlling. And Latavia Roberson, an original member of Girl Time, which later became Destiny's Child, revealed that Matthew would make the girls sing while jogging and rehearse dance routines for hours on end. We used to call him Joe Jackson, Latavia said. So when Destiny's Child announced their hiatus in 2002, reports appeared in the media that Matthew deliberately broke up the group so Beyonce could move forward with her solo career. But by that point, Beyonce had started dating Jay-Z who was 12 years her senior, and while she later claimed they didn't start dating until she was 19, Jay allegedly had his sights set on her long before that. According to mm, internet detectives, Jay actually met Beyonce for the first time when she was 16, and he was 28, and apparently that's when he started plotting his next move. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but given Jay's history with Foxy Brown and Aaliyah, well, let's just say I wouldn't put anything past him. Also, even if Beyonce was 19 when they started dating, this isn't the key point because she was still 12 years younger than Jay, which means the power dynamics were not balanced from the beginning. Because even if Beyonce was of legal age, Jay was significantly ahead of her in terms of maturity, independence, life experience, and so on. In fact, Beyonce only had one boyfriend before Jay, allegedly, and it was an innocent high school sweethearts type of thing. Also, let's not forget that Beyonce Beyonce and Jay-Z come from very different backgrounds, and many people think that it would have been pretty easy for a street-savvy Jay to charm and manipulate her. So this is why many say that Beyonce went from being controlled by her dad to being controlled by Jay-Z, and she's never experienced living her life independent of a man. Now, as for Matthew's thoughts on Jay dating his daughter, he allegedly wasn't so much concerned about their age difference as he was about Jay taking control of Beyonce's career and pushing him out. When Matthew was asked years later if he eventually warmed up to Jay, he said, I don't care for him at all. No, I'm not close to him. He is not somebody I like to spend time with. 
Anyway, Jay pretty much took over from Matthew and became in charge of Beyonce's solo career. Then in 2011, Beyonce fired Matthew and announced he would no longer manage her. Beyonce insisted there was no bad blood between her and her dad and it was just business. But to this day, many believe that it was Jay-Z's decision for Beyonce to cut ties with Matthew. These rumors reached a fever pitch after Jay was exposed for cheating on Beyonce. And then when Beyonce's sister Solange nearly knocked Jay out in that elevator, Matthew said that watching Solange beat Jay was hilarious. I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> I laughed so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's the line. Clearly, Matthew had no sympathy for Jay, and he said that Jay brought that beating on himself. But these comments reportedly angered Jay, and he couldn't stand being humiliated twice, first by Solange and then by Matthew. Also, speaking of Solange, it looks like her relationship with Jay never recovered because she is rarely seen at any of the family events. Anyway, Beyonce herself later addressed the power struggle between her husband and her dad on her album, Lemonade. But the main question on everyone one's lips at the time was, why did Beyonce stay with Jay-Z? Well, first of all, based on Jay's comments about the cheating scandal, this man is a master gaslighter. After his affair with Becky with the good hair was exposed, Jay went on CNN and claimed he and Beyonce decided to stay together to break the cycle. You know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome. Um, does Jay-Z know you break that cycle by not cheating on your spouse? Anyways, when he was asked if the outcome would have been the same if Beyonce had cheated on him, Jay said he hoped he would have been as strong as she was. If the, if the yeah. shoot had been on the other foot, you know, yeah. if the transgressions had been on her side, mm -hmm. do you think you would be able to be as forgiving of her as she was of you? I hope. Uh, again, because I love her the same way, no matter, no matter what side, I love her the same way. I, I, I pray that I will because um, her strength and her, you know, you know, man, she's the strongest woman I know. Like you know, her and my mother, they battling for number <laughs> one. <laughs> But let's be so for real. Y'all really think that Jay would say with Beyonce if she publicly cheated on him with some Brandon with a good face? Come on now. But what's even more messed up than Jay gaslighting all of us on national TV are the recent rumors claiming he got Beyonce hooked on drugs. So Jaguar Wright, who used to be Jay's background singer, went viral after telling the Beehive they need to start a free Beyonce movement because Jay is pumping her with drugs. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, no. Oh, girl, <laughs> not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, the Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Meanwhile, Uncle Ron, who reportedly worked as Beyonce's bodyguard back in the day, posted a TikTok video backing Jaguar's story and claiming that Jay had been keeping Beyonce drugged up for a long time. But I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time. And you keep her that way. These rumors gained even more traction when a video surfaced of Beyonce and Jay leaving a pre-Grammys party, with Beyonce looking completely out of it and Jay getting all nervous about the paparazzi. Chill out. Sorry, Jay-Z. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. By the way, did you spot Chris Jenner's boy toy, Corey Gamble, there acting like Beyonce's bodyguard? Well, yeah, rumor has it that he's a Hollywood handler who keeps these celebs in check. Now, as for Matthew's reaction to these rumors, he's allegedly concerned about Beyonce, but there's nothing he can do anymore because Jay allegedly refuses to be in the same room as him. I know all this sounds insane, but then again, nothing would surprise me anymore when it comes to Hollywood. Anyway, here's what fans are saying about the rumors that Jay 
Jay is drugging Beyonce. Guys, how did we miss that? One fan said, this last album is super dark. She has been acting funny. Also, to perform those rituals and sacrifices, you need to be high on something. And another one wrote, it dawned on me that Solange was pissed AF when she saw how zoned out her sister was and was trying to beat the shh out Jay-Z in that elevator. We all saw how Julius let her get in some jabs. They probably know that Bay takes meds, upper slash downers, to numb out. Plus, Jay knows too. I don't think he gives them to her, but is an enabler. And that's why Solange went off while B was stuck in the twilight zone. Even her movements delayed. But let me hear your thoughts on this. Do you think it's possible Jay is keeping B on drugs? Let me know in the comments and don't miss out on this next video.